Hello, my friends. This is Dr. Ginny Barrow, and welcome to Start the Day with Ginny. The beginning of the year is one of my favorite times because we get to hit the reset button. We get to create what we didn't get a chance to do in the year before. We also get to be open to the possibilities and also realize that there will be new challenges ahead of us and kind of prepare ourselves mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. It's a chance for us to prepare ourselves for the potential challenges that we may be facing. So I want to take the opportunity on the Start the Day with Ginny video this morning to ask you three key questions. And if you would take, this videos are less than five minutes, if you would take a few minutes to yourself in quiet to answer these questions, I think that this will give you a framework that you can use throughout the entire year. You can use it every week, every month, every quarter to help you reset over and over. The three questions go like this. Question number one is, what is one thing that you did in 2021 that you are proud of? And notice that I'm saying one thing just to keep it as simple as possible so you can get it done instead of getting overwhelmed with too many questions. So there is one thing that you did that you're proud of. If you do this on a regular basis, you can do this. What is one thing I'm proud of today? What is one thing I'm proud of this week? What is one thing I'm proud of this month? You see, you see what I'm saying? So you can do this at any point for any time frame as a way to self-acknowledge and a way to give yourself a pat in the back because I know that if you are a high achiever like me and most of my clients are, most likely you're constantly criticizing yourself, you're constantly being hard on yourself. And one of the things we learn in my tribe and in my community is how to self-acknowledge so that we can stay high energy and treat ourselves with the same grace that we give other people. So that's question number one. Question number two is what mistake did you make and what did you learn from that mistake? If we are going to sit here and have this conversation with each other and pretend that we're not making mistakes up, down and sideways, then I, we're not being honest with each other. And I'm all about being honest with you, honest with my clients, honest in my relationships. And so what is one mistake that you made and what did you learn from it? The advantage of addressing what you learned from it is that with a growth mindset, we realize that the mistakes that, we're made, that we make are not mistakes if we learn from those mistakes. So I'll give you an example. If I launched a campaign last year that was not successful, I can kind of dissect what happened. What did I do or what didn't I do that I should have done? What would I do differently? How would I perhaps uh, arrange my uh, the agenda for the meeting? What was it that was off? The only reason that I can do that is because I already went through it. So if I'm gonna plan another one, I'm gonna make sure that I address the things that didn't go well and that I continue or add on to the things that did go well. And so that is the, the gift that we get from making mistakes. In my personal life, of course, I've made a lot of mistakes. And even having conversations with my son, right? I realized, oof, I probably should have addressed that differently. Or I should have spoken with more respect or I should have been more patient, right? Those are all moments and opportunities for us to kind of step back and assess how it went and then take corrective steps moving forward. That's what it means to have a growth mindset. And so that's the second question. The third question is, what is one story that you are willing to let go of here now at the start of 2022 or at any point? And this is what I mean by the stories. And I'll give you a very personal example. If I tell myself the story that I'm meant to be by myself for the rest of my life without a romantic partner, how do you think I'm going to show up and how open do you think I'm going to be? So I had to let go of the story that I was going to be alone for the rest of my life in order for me to be receptive and willing to meet someone that I could be with romantically, a life partner. And so without that shift and that willingness to do this, to, to shift my perspective of what was or wasn't possible, without that shift, I would still be stuck in, I'm never gonna meet someone. 
And that is just a personal example that I'm sharing with you vulnerably because I know that we have these stories in our personal life and in our careers. Perhaps one of the stories you may be telling yourself is that this is it for me. This is as far as I'm going to go in the professional world. This is the highest title or the highest role or the biggest impact that I see myself having. Well, those stories are gonna keep us small, limited and away from seeing what's in front of us that could be a potential new role, a potential opportunity, a potential for us to have a bigger impact as a leader. And so for you, what is that story that you're willing to let go of? And if at any point you need support in any of this, in identifying what is it that you want for 2022 or any any other period, what is it that you are, uh, why is this important to you and how you can then take the right steps to move toward that goal that you want or the result, the compelling vision and future, you know that I'm always here for you. You can always reach me at callwithginny.com. Live with purpose, live with joy. I hope these help you to set yourself up for a successful year and one where you are empowered because you know what you want, why it matters, and how you can get there. I'll talk to you soon.